Hello my spunky stampers, this is Tanya Weir with Spunky Cards and today you get to join me in my kitchen. We're not in the stamp room because we are going to need my freezer. I am on an adventure. This is the adventure of um, the mystery of the jammed punch. As you can see I have my wonderful bird builder punch here and there is a piece of red paper stuck in between this groove right here and usually that happens whenever I punch lots of pieces and I am so busy punching that I miss that there's still a piece of scrap paper in there as I insert my next piece of cardstock and so that um, mystery piece that runaway that was in there now gets pressed in between the cutting portions of the punch and it's jammed so there are a couple things we can do. Of course we can grab a hammer and just do the brute force thing, but that might really hurt our punch. And even though they're really good quality, they're not indestructible, so that will be the last thing that we will try. Plus it would void our warranty on the item, so never mind that. The first thing you do whenever your punch misaligns or um, um, doesn't want to work right is we're going to put it in the freezer. reason is when metal gets cold it's going to contract and we hope that that gives us just enough wiggle room to either realign it or um, get that piece of paper out of there. So, step one, let's go to the freezer. Take punch, this is super hard, take punch, open freezer, insert, and we're gonna wait 10 minutes and um, I'm going to set a timer. Actually, five minutes is plenty, so I'll be back in five. All right. All right, so five minutes has passed. I'm going to grab my punch out of the freezer. And I'm going to see if it wants to move. I can see it moves a little bit better, but it's not unjamming yet. And I've got some needle nose pliers here, and I'm going to push, see if I can get it to come down. And see, well, this is hard for you to see, but I've already worked it a little bit. But I'm pushing down in there. We've got springs going on in there. Ooh, they're starting to move a little bit. We've got springs and everything in the punch is lined up very well. And so we don't want to um, just come with force or the hammer. Yep, it's moving slowly so we're going to push down. I also don't want to um, add my fingers because we do have blades in there. See? Let's see if I can grab that out of there. Should have grabbed my tweezers from the stamp room. My kitchen is not well equipped to deal with my stamp room stuff. But I'm working my way slowly through this punch. Another thing we can do is we can um, put this back in the freezer for a few minutes because as it warms up, it's going to um, expand back to its original size. And we want to completely bring it down into its neutral, unjammed position before we do anything else. See how this paper is starting to come out? Very good. All right, I'm going to work this for a little bit longer. There we go. And all the paper is coming out. Very, very cool. So,
I've got a unjammed punch. It works beautifully. Perfect. And we are ready to go on another adventure. So just to recap real quick, when you have problems with your punches because it's jamming or misaligned, the first thing I suggest is that you go put it in the freezer. The second thing is if it doesn't unlock and unjam right out of the freezer, go ahead and grab some needle nose pliers and w try to push the insides down. Um, as you see, the spring brings it up, the punching mechanism brings it up, and slowly try to push them down. Work your way through so that you put some pressure right here, some pressure right there, some right there. You know, um, moving it eight by an inch by an eighth by an inch everywhere slowly because you don't want to put too much pressure on here and then misalign it over here. And if that doesn't work, call your demonstrator. He or she will either um, work it through you or if you've bought your punches through me I would be I always walk my customers through it step by step and when all else fails um, and especially if it doesn't work from the very beginning and it's a manufacturing defect stampin up and I love to exchange your punches for you so <coughs> <coughs> I hope you really enjoyed this tip um, for all my customers, I ask you to send your requests straight to me. If you are a new customer, I would love to serve you. And remember, my newsletter always contains tips and tricks just like this one, and um, I hope you're on my mailing list. Visit my blog for more information or to sign up, and until I get your next request, this is Tanya Weir with Spunky Cards, always happy to help you with your stamping needs.